Welcome back to Logan Figures It Out. I'm bored in the toy room, so today we are going to go through the complete history of Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre action figures. You are going to see every figure that's been made of the one and only Leatherface. Remember, the Saul is family. All right, before I really start, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. I can do other characters. I have pretty much every action figure made from the horror genre so if you want to see other characters just let me know who you'd like to see next and we can go through a full tutorial um up first though i think i'm going to start with mcfarland toys so i'll try to do this by company uh, i'm going to start with mcfarland just because this was the first ever action figure of leatherface um here is the bloody version i of course have mine signed by gunner hansen the original leatherface himself so this one comes with like the decapitated hand head it gets the bloody chainsaw um here was like the more mass retail version you can see he doesn't come with that stuff there is no blood on the chainsaw so that's the original verse the bloody version uh movie maniacs series one all right let's keep it moving okay mcfarland really wouldn't visit uh, another leatherface until 2004 with movie maniacs series seven here is Leatherface from the new remake movie. Again, my version signed by Andrew Bernarski, who was the new Leatherface. Great figure. They come with these dioramas in the background, so there he is busting through the door. But McFarlane won it stop with just Leatherface this time. Oh no, we get the whole family. So here we got R. Lee Ermey, Sheriff Hort, Hoyt. So again, he comes with the background of the van with the bullet hole through the back. If you've seen the movie it's a classic scene very good remake probably one of the best remakes of all time next we got old man monty i don't know what kid was buying an old man with no legs but as a horror collector it was cool so again they did actually two different versions of this this one makes a lot more sense than this version so why did they package them with a wheelchair upside down on top of his head i'll never know but it's so bizarre i needed both versions so obviously this looks a lot more aesthetically appealing in the package. Then, how could you have killers without the favorite victim? So we got Jesse Beal running through like the meat hooks and slab of beef right there. No pun intended, but uh, yeah, awesome figure. I don't know if the likeness is actually too good. It looks a little bit off, but there it looks a lot better. There, not so much. Anyway, very seldom do we get victims in horror movies. So while I'm saying it's a Texas Chainsaw or a Leatherface thing, I have to go with all the characters of figures they made. And then they also did a 12-inch version. Again, mine is signed by Andrew Marnarski on this one as well. It is slightly different than the 6-inch figure. Um, so again, there you have it. And that'll go right into McFarlane's next deluxe figure. So here is the 18 inch leather face. This is the Gunnar Hansen version from the original. This was actually part of Movie Maniac Series 4, so it did come out quite a bit before Series 7, obviously. This thing is massive at 18 inches. It's very rare, worth a decent amount of money. The boxes are hard to find in shape. Uh, it does have chainsaw sounds. Here it is next to the 12 inch. You can just see how much bigger it really is. It dwarfs it in size. So that does it for McFarlane Toys. Uh, NECA was pretty much next in the game. So let's jump on over to NECA. So we're gonna start off with the cult classic series of NECA. These were their first figures of Leatherface. We'll dive more into the Ultimates and Meagle styles in a bit. Um, but this is obviously from the first movie and it's more of the dinner scene. Don't particularly like this one just because of how he's positioned in the box with the torso so twisted. Uh, but it is really, I think, one of the few versions we get of him with the pretty lady mask on. Series 5 of Cult Classics. So again, I have this one signed by Gunnar Hansen as well. This is more from uh, his original look. I do like the McFarlane version better. I don't know. I just like his face better on the McFarlane one. Probably the rest of the sculpt here is better. But this is several years later. And then... This is a reissue. So this was the Colt Classics Hall of Fame line where they kind of did repaints. This guy came in a box set. So I'll show you that in a little bit. 
Uh, but this is the Andrew Bernarski version. This is from Leatherface The Beginnings. So one of the few versions of this toy and this movie. But that does it for the clamshells. Let's dive into some of their box set stuff. Okay, so here is the box set of the last figure I just showed where they just took the figure out and kind of repurposed it. Uh, this is the box set, again, from the beginnings. There you can see the awesome victim just laid out there getting, I don't know, cut up, his face peeled off, making a new mask. He comes with all kinds of accessories. There you can see the chainsaw. Just a really cool backdrop to it. Looks awesome. So that's their one and only true box set, I guess. All right, so sticking with the kind of the box theme, we have their ultimate version. I will say, I don't think this is too great of an ultimate. I don't really like the sculpt. He's way too skinny. I don't really like the face. I don't like how they use this soft goods bib. I would rather just have it sculpted. Um, but he does come with the alternate head here. Some of the extra stuff. So this, again, part of their Ultimates collection. We also had this ridiculous version. It is so stupid that it makes it awesome. This is, of course, from the Atari video game. And look at that. That is how Leatherface appeared in the game. Well, he didn't have that great a face because that was also a weird color. But look at that. in all green. So super weird, but... I mean, if you're a Leatherface fan, you got to have this in the collection. Look at that. Wow. We got to show his brother. This is the only action figure that we have of the Hitchhiker from Part 1. And he's also included with Nubbins from Part 2. So great. He comes with the camera. Comes with the knives. Switchblade. So great. So, of course, he's all about taking people's pictures. There you have it. And then we go to the super cartoony. We have the Toonie Tears leather face. This is, of course, how he would look if he was in the Scooby-Doo universe. Great figure. Um, something totally different. I do like it. And uh, let's get to the Meagle style. Okay, so rounding out the neck of goodness, I'm going to go with their Meagle style. I'm not going to necessarily do these in order of release, but I'll do them in order, in order of movie appearance. So there we have him in his first version, how we'd always recognize Leatherface. Pretty cool. The artwork on these is spectacular. That's half the reason to buy them. Here we have, also from part one, the dinner scene. Looking great. Got an awesome artwork. Then we're going to move right along to part two. We have Chop Top himself, Bill Mosley. So this is only one of two action figures ever of the famous Chop Top. I'll show you the other one in a little bit. Then also from part two, we have Leatherface himself, Bubba, as he's known in this movie. So looking great. We'll move right on to part three, R.A. Mahaloff, Leatherface. This is the only part three Leatherface figure. He's actually at a convention I'm contemplating going to next week. Do I get this signed? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is this worthy of a signature on there? I have all the other Leatherface but him. And then this is not NECA. It's a Mego, but it's the only Mego that they've made. And it's the same style, so we're just going to include it here. This is, of course, the Andrew Monarski Leatherface. So there you have it. All right, let's move on to Mezco. All right, so here's the first Mezco figure. And before I pulled these, I really didn't realize how many Mezco made. So... Kind of a reminder for myself here. But uh, there we have the original Leatherface. I like these versions. They're a little bit in between realistic and cartoony. Mezco definitely had their own flair and style. That's indicative of all their figures. And these were right along those. So this is their Cinema Fear line. Very hard to get. Um, very low production runs. The screen grabs, which I'll show you. Super rare. Um, hundreds of dollars. So there's the original Leatherface. Here is the second of two uh, Chop Top. So I had mine signed by Bill Mosley, and I had to make it out to a Far Out fan. Of course, if you know the movie, you know why I chose that. That's what he has stretched, uh, signed his photo at the, uh, the radio station. So there he comes, and there's Nubbins. Great accessory. And then with his extra head, you get, the, of course, the coat hanger. Lick my plate. Awesome. Here we have another version of Bubba. 
comes with, of course, like the, uh, I don't know, what you would cut your chicken with or whatnot. So that's a famous scene of peeling someone's face off in the movie. So that's Cinema of Fear Series 2. Series 3, we get another Andrew Bernarski version. Which one, this is cool because it does include his unmasked face, which is very rare for a leather face action figure. I believe it's actually going to be the only one. Great detail on this. This is probably the best looking one out of all of the Cinema of Fear figures. Then, they did screen grabs. I don't actually have the first one. That's how rare it is. It's one of the only things I don't have. Um, this is the screen grab from Series 2, where you have the guy hanging on the chandelier. He's getting gutted up the middle. Figures are probably only about 4 inches tall, so they fit in your standard 6-inch clamshell. Um, they also did a black and white version of this. I'm not going to show it just for lack of time. Um, but I will cut in a photo of the original where he's coming out the door and uh, hitting the guy over the head with a sledgehammer. So it's an awesome figure. I wish I had one. If anyone has one, let me know. I'll be willing to buy. So there's the screen grabs. And then Let's Go also did some, some deluxe stuff under their Cinema Fear line. So this is like their deformed characters. Um, there you have it. He's really cartoony. It's a big set, though. Big set. And then we went with their 12-inch figure. I think the mask on this is pretty bad. But again, it's a classic version of the original Leatherface. So there you have him in the 12-inch form. Uh, there is a brand new figure coming out, their MDS style. It is not out yet. It's coming. It's supposed to be out the last couple months, but due to COVID shipment delays and all the so forth, um, it has been delayed. Again, I'll insert a photo of that. I have it on pre-order, so that will be joining the collection shortly. Here is another deluxe figure from the Mezco MDS line. This is the talking 12-inch um, leather face. So here you go. It makes sounds and so forth. Uh, this is rather new. Don't have it in the collection yet, but... All right, I think I lied earlier in the movie saying there was only one version of the brother. And I just found this while I was putting the other ones back. We got the Hitchhiker from the first movie. It's also from Cinema of Fear Series 3. It's a great look. Comes with basically the same accessories as the other one. This one, I think, has a little bit better detail. It's not in that Mego style. It's an actual action figure. So, super cool. All right, now that really does it for Mezco. So Funko, this was the first uh, pop released of Leatherface. Classic look with the chainsaw from the original movie. This was the second mass release. Um, I'm not sure what version this is from. They look very different. I don't really know if he looked like that in the movie. I think this, this version is a lot better than this one. Uh, so then they did a Hot Topic exclusive, which is the same, but he comes with the hammer instead of the chainsaw. You can clearly see the sticker there showing where it's exclusive to. And then they did a second Hot Topic exclusive with the pretty lady face. This is actually the chase version. He just has some blood splattered. The regular version does not. Uh, this is probably the best pop out of all of them, if you ask me. But... Plenty more opportunities for Funko. I hope they do one with the house, and I hope they do more versions from the other movies. And then the last Funko item, we have the soda. So take a sip. Um, this are vinyl figure inside here. There is a Chase version, obviously, with it. Uh, I don't open anything, so I'm not going to be able to show the figure, but that's what the packaging looks like. And if you want a leather face soda, there you go. There's the figure. And then there is a Chase included. All right, let's move on to some of the miscellaneous items. All right, so sticking with Super 7, this is when Super 7 and Funko were teamed up. Uh, there you have the reaction figure. So you get the family portrait on the side. It would have been great if they made the rest of the family. This was the only one they did make. They got the classic poster on the back. So cool if you're into like the older retro style figures. So another Funko release in action figure form this time. We have the Savage World line. And this is obviously the Leatherface figure mashed up like he existed in the He-Man universe. So two of my favorite things of all time. Horror meets Masters of the Universe. Must have for me. 
I have the complete line, which they show here. These are from 2018, again by Funko. Fun mashup, cross-style figure. Here's some totally miscellaneous things. This is a Corinthian headliner. So this is, I don't know, maybe eight inches tall. They did a whole line of these with uh, Freddy and Michael. They were exclusive to Spencer's back in the day. So I don't know, this is one of 45,000. Oh, I'm sorry, 15,000, one of 15,000. So not too many of them out there. They are hard to find. And again, the boxes are always beat up really bad. So as you can see, most of this stuff is from his original look. Here was another figure from Corinthian Headliners. It's a bendy figure of Leatherface. So there you have him. And his full glory. I believe these were exclusive to Spencer. This is really random and not actually an action figure. And for per this guide, I'm really only sticking with figures. I know there are dolls out there by, you know, Sideshow. There are statues, of course. Uh, Living Dead dolls did some Leatherface things. But I'm trying to stick mostly with action figures. But this is in the collection, so I thought I'd show it off. It was in the toy aisle. It's by Kid Robot. Uh, this was sold at Target and Best Buy, as far as I know. But it's a Mad Ball Leatherface. How cool is that? Also, well, not technically an action figure. It's a doll, I would say. Uh, this was exclusive to Spencer's. This one is 5,000, whatever, out of 30,000. Again, that sounds like a pretty big number these days, but this is really hard figure to find. Doll, whatever you want to call it. There you got Leatherface's chainsaw Revan. He's grunting. So again, a depiction from the first movie. Got lovely face on the back. It opens up. You have Sally running. There's the end. And it uh, gives you the little bio story. So pretty neat packaging. And then we'll get into a little bit of die cast. I do have all the die casts. So here we have from Matchbox. How crazy is it that they made a leather face? Um, I don't know what version this is. So obviously that's how he looked in part one. But the truck is very reminiscent of what the truck was in part two in the beginning. It's not quite exact, but I don't know. It's a blue pickup. If you ask me, that's the part two truck. These are very rare. Um, they're good for about 40, 50 bucks for this little car. All right, let's move over to the green light stuff. Lastly, again, not an action figure, but it is Natoya. These are from green light, part of their Hollywood series line. This is of course the van uh, from the original movie with Franklin and Sally and all those guys driving in it. Really neat. And then they also did the 164th scale of the pickup truck uh, from the end of the movie. All right, so there you have her. Be cool if Sally was in the back. Um, the Friday the 13th one does have a Pam Lavoris with it. So that would have been pretty neat. And then, of course, if you saw this in my haul video not too long ago, is the 124th scale of the truck. So this is like a way cooler version. The packaging's great with Leatherface in the background there. Um, and there you have it. All right, I know I say this is sticking with action figures, but I am going to show off some of the other collectibles. Uh, this is the bust from NECA, so that's obviously a toy company. I figure I'll show that, and I have it in my collection, so there you have it. The other bust that they made uh, was from Gentle Giant from Part 2, so those are the only two that exist. Uh, there you have the Hawthorne Village original house with Leatherface. I just put him on top. He's an extra piece. Um... They did a couple of the gas station and the trailer, so very rare to find. And then this was one of the latest releases. This is a Kotobukiya Art Effects statue, vinyl figure, whatever you want to call it. So I guess you could classify this as an action figure if you really wanted to. It's a little bit of a stretch, uh, but again, the original version. And then lastly, I have my full-sized cast sign poster of the original. So there we have Marilyn Burns as Sally, Terry McMinn, Leatherface himself. Again, you saw all the autographs on the figures. You got the original Hitchhiker. He signed it, you like head cheese. Who doesn't? Greatest food ever. Not really. And then we got Kirk, Grandpa, and Jerry. So again, just figure I showed off. It's in my Texas Chainsaw room here, or whatever you want to call it, little horror room display. 
Another quick bonus collectible segment are, of course, the masks. These are from Trick or Treat Studios. You have the pretty lady. You have the original. Oh, what lovely teeth. You have part two, the Bubba mask. You have part three. And then the Andrew Bernarski mask. That one is not Trick or Treat Studios, but it's uh, one of the better ones out there. They, I don't believe they've made a Trick or Treat yet. Um, but these masks are super detailed. They're about as authentic as you're going to get to an actual mask replica. So there you go. All right, that's going to do it. All right, so there you have it. The definitive Leatherface action figure uh, tutorial, full pictures. Plus, I threw in some bonuses of other collectibles. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us for future toy hunts. And if you like this type of video, let me know in the comments who you want to see next. We could do Michael. We could do Freddy, Jason, Pennywise, Chucky. It doesn't matter. Anybody. Request it. We got the figures. We can show you. We got them all, baby. So like and subscribe. Till next time.